So the trial was postponed for a day. It was supposed to start today in Delaware. You'll know that Dominion Voting Machine Company is suing Fox News for $1.6 billion. The judge postponed it, and that signals that there are settlement talks underway, which I am told is true. If I had to bet, and this is purely speculation on my part, I would bet there would be a settlement between $750 million and a billion. Fox News will pay Dominion because Rupert Murdoch does not want to get on that stand. And then all the other Fox primetime people would have to be on the stand as well. And I wrote a column yesterday. The, all the other media in America love this. They've already convicted Fox News. Please read the column. I think it's a fair column. That's why I wrote it. Nobody else would have the guts to write it, but I did. Okay, so I hope you read that. Anyway, um, after this is resolved, there, it continues, okay? Because there is another lawsuit by a company called Smartmatic against Fox News as well. They're based in London, England. All right. And they uh, do voting systems as well. Electronic voting systems. So they're suing for two point seven billion against Fox. By the way, uh, Dominion, if it wins a settlement, uh, then goes after Newsmax and OAN. So Dominion, this is just one of three. Newsmax and OAN do not have the money. So they would bankrupt those agencies. If, you know, if Fox settles and Fox would have to admit some wrongdoing in the settlement, they would have to. That's it for Newsmax and OAN. I can't see them surviving because they'll lose. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, Please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.